Hello and welcome. We're gonna look at the League C jerseys in the next four days um, of the UEFA Nations League. But before we get to League C, um, I just want to review first the one jersey that was missing from um, League B, which was the Bosnia Herzegovina away jersey, um, which was never really officially released, but they played in that one, of course, uh, when they won in Northern Ireland which is the same template that Morocco had, or now Lyon has. I think those are the two that are really coming into mind, but it's a unicolor template. It's white, and then you have the blue on top, then a white line and another blue line. Um, actually, I think it looks quite nice, uh, especially paired with the blue pants, as we see here in the team picture. Um, but yeah, it's also nothing special. You have the uh, stripes here on the side. Overall, I think it's a... Uh, a uh, good looking shirt, but of course it's a template. But now let's go to League C and we're gonna start off with one of the oldest soccer nations in the world, of course, with Scotland. And um, before we go to the Scottish uh, jersey per se, I'm wearing, I had a, a hard time picking which jersey shall I wear um, for this uh, segment. Uh, we have here Scotland, Albania and Israel. I have none of these shirts, although the Scottish shirt I would like to have. Well, I thought I'm wearing my US centenary shirt in 2013. There were surely many Scottish immigrants coming to the United States, so therefore, and it's also the kind of the same colors, just flip-flopped in a way. Let's go to Scotland and see the current Scottish home jersey. Uh, also not that easy to find, but it's actually very classic looking. Not necessarily my favorite. Um, it goes a little bit in boring, but uh, it has a classic look. It's the dark blue, then you have the white color, which is a very classic Adidas color in a way, with the fold over, fold over v-neck. You have the white sleeve, cur sleeve curves, and you have the three white stripes going down on the sides. Uh, crest nicely put and of course number is also centered. I think it's a really good looking Scotland uh, home jersey and same thing Cam comes in for the away jersey and if you look close and you've been watching my jersey reviews for this season that's the Adidas template again. Uh, it's basically the Sweden away jersey in yellow. Maybe the Sweden jersey could have looked that way. No that's not so Sweden this is Belgium. But with a Scottish twist, we have it in yellow and we have the uh, dark blue on there. Um, again, I don't mind the template here uh, as much as I do in some club jerseys. And I actually think this is a classic Scotland away kit uh, with the yellow. I actually like the Scottish uh, away kits in yellow quite some. It also makes sense if you look at the crest, the lion is on a yellow shield so uh, fits very very nicely together makes for a really nice crest yeah I know the first British team that I had a jersey of was England but honestly I was always leaning more towards Scotland if, and Ireland so yeah it's kind of a freak of nature thing for me then let's go to the Balkans, to Albania. We see here the entire collection and we see already the Macron. And Macron actually, since they took over for Euro 2016, they actually deliver something interesting here. Um, it's not necessarily the flag detail that we had um, on the previous, but what we see here on the home jersey, which is red with this diamond pattern that fades a little bit into black, there is a kind of a weird black patch under the arms. And also the collar is kind of this short, uh, no, it's a crew neck, a little bit Mandarin style, a little bit standing collar. The collar is a little bit weird on this. I like the black sleeve trims. Um, and yeah, the crest, it's just the Albanian double eagle sticking uh, sticking actually out a little bit in the black, but I think overall it fits all well together. The Macron logo in white, yeah, that's the one thing that's maybe a little bit off, and I also would imagine that there are white numbers uh, on there. Um, the scaling, I don't know, is it a mountain scale? Should it be dragon scales or snake scales? Uh, don't I honestly know too little about Albania, but um, actually this is a really really nice shirt. Um, the 
away shirt is the same thing in white and I like how they adjusted the crest accordingly so you have instead of the red uh, background with the black you have now a white background with the black double eagle and then that's the exact same jersey just in white I actually think it looks a teeny bit better in white I think although the red one is of course the classic one and then the black jersey does the same thing it's just it looks a little bit that the front is more grayish and then it goes into black maybe that and that i don't like as much and also that the crest is now black with the red eagle i understand it but i don't like it as much i think this way the eagle with the black crest is a little bit undersold i think here the one the crest from the home jersey will will, will, will have done well and i think uh, having uh, the front gray and the rest kind of black is a little bit of a downer honestly and then the lowest seeded team is i was a little bit surprised about that but it's israel but then israel did not perform that well uh and they have puma jerseys i want to say again i think they had adidas jerseys previously they had had puma for a long time and then they uh, switched seemingly over now to adidas and i think back to puma might be wrong with that one, but I think that's what I recall. Um, the one thing I have to say about Israel, if you look at the crest, is it's just such a ripoff of the Irish crest. Uh, it's almost blatant. I'm sure it's the same designer. Uh, of course, they play at home in their light blue, and it's a really, really light blue jersey. This is basically the same template that Uruguay has, but I actually don't see any particular pattern. Uruguay had the sun, but this is really just the light blue, and then with the white, it's a very, very light jersey uh but actually when i saw it it looks kind of nice part of me wished that uruguay would play with white accents on their uh home shirt but and then again they play with black pants so it kind of ties better together this way uh but yeah i cannot really say a lot of bad about it maybe that is very light and then that the away jersey is actually white that is a little bit uh, the surprise, but also it looks nice and it has this V in there. Uh, and I like how the light blue numbers in the, of course, the wonderful Puma font are on there. Also, there's a form stripe. Um, we saw this with the club jersey, it's a little bit weird. Uh, I don't mind it as much on the light blue one, where you have kind of this different color. But here, you the light blue form stripe really sticks out. I understand it's white, so then you need to do something. Just a little bit of a tad look. But yeah, I think these are nice jerseys. I really like the Israel jerseys as well. I just wish they had a little bit more of a more unique crest and not this blatant ripoff of the Irish one. Well, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, which ones you liked, which ones you dislike. Um, it's clear which ones I should. Uh, I, I prefer most, which is the Scottish one, but I actually like all of them. Yes, they have such a. Uh, they have all a little bit uh, extra. Maybe the Albania one is the one that I like the least in these, but it's overall a pretty solid uh, group jersey wise. Again, let me know which jerseys you like, which ones you disliked. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. Because tomorrow we're gonna look at the second group in League C. Until then, bye.